Those released include Wall Street Journal reporter Evan Gershkovitz, Russian-American journalist Alsu Kermashiva, Pulitzer Prize-winning journalist Vladimir Karamurza, and Marine veteran Paul Whelan. Whelan's brother lives here in San Diego. Our Shannon Handy is sharing what he has to say about the release and has more on the exchange, including insight from a local expert. David Whelan is the director of the San Diego Law Library. His brother, Paul, had been detained since 2018. This morning, David released a lengthy statement saying, in part, our family is grateful. This is video of Paul Whelan boarding an airplane following his release from a Russian prison. The former Marine was arrested in 2018 while visiting Moscow for a wedding. He was convicted and sentenced to 16 years for espionage. He was among three Americans in a permanent United States resident released today for crimes both they and the U.S. government say they never committed. Russian authorities arrested them, convicted them in show trials, and sentenced them to long prison terms with absolutely no legitimate reason whatsoever. During a news conference this morning, President Biden was surrounded by family members of those Americans, including Paul's sister. Meanwhile, his brother David, who lives and works in San Diego, put out a four-page statement thanking everyone who helped free Paul, saying, quote, while we did our best as amateurs with limited resources, we do not believe Paul would be free today without the expert help we received behind the scenes, adding, while Paul was wrongfully imprisoned in Russia, he lost his home, he lost his job, we are unsure sure how someone overcomes these losses and rejoins society after being a hostage. It is Paul's story to tell, and he will tell it when he is able. In total, 24 prisoners were released in the swap involving Russia, the U.S., and multiple other countries. Wall Street Journal reporter Evan Gershkovich is one of those freed Americans. In exchange, the U.S. and its allies had to give up Russians charged or convicted of serious crimes. It's the largest exchange of its kind since the Cold War. Certainly, the Biden administration has been pushing for return of these hostages for some time. Dr. Darren Q., dean of University of San Diego's Joan B. Kroc School of Peace Studies, says the swap has various implications. For starters, he questions if it's part of a bigger diplomatic conversation surrounding the U.S. trying to negotiate a ceasefire in Ukraine. He also says while it does help bolster Biden's reputation, he warns it does not signal Russia will stop to Teeny people who did nothing wrong. You could certainly argue that this has provided um, Russia with a useful pawn that it can move on the chessboard. Now that it's given that pawn away, it creates an incentive for it to take more high-profile political prisoners and to trade them off in some sort of deal in the future. Shanna Handy, CBS 8. Thanks, Shannon.